Hey guys, it's Chatty Ness. I'm back with another video. Today I'll be showing you how I make my clove water. You want to take three to four tablespoons of cloves and add it to a pot of water. You're going to bring that water to a boil and you're going to let it boil consistently until you achieve the proper brown color. So I stir it occasionally, checking for color. It's not quite there yet. Still not quite there yet, so I'm going to give it a couple of more stirs. Okay, now I have achieved the brown that I want. You see how nice and brown the water is? Now you know that you got all of the goodness out of the cloves. See, look how nice that brown is. Okay, now you're going to let it cool. I usually let mine cool for about 30 minutes. And now it's ready for use. Look at that, nice and brown. And then you're going to add it to your spray bottle. And then I add a little oil. That is my olive oil, my grapeseed oil, and my coconut oil. And I usually add it to the clove water to preserve the life of the clove water. The excess clove water I'll be using later on in my video. So now you're going to shake it to blend. Okay, this is the shampoo that I'll be using today. Okay, now I'm applying the shampoo. I really love this shampoo. It's very moisturizing. And this is the conditioner I'll be using. It's also moisturizing. And I'm detangling as I condition her hair with a wide tooth comb. Rinsing all the conditioner out. That is my clove water, olive oil, and aloe vera mix. And then that right there is my cholesterol and a plastic cap because I'm about to deep condition her hair. So now I'm just getting all the excess water out of her hair so I can apply the clove water, aloe vera, and olive oil mix.
time to deep condition, guys. So as you can see, I'm spraying the mixture on her hair. And I'm making sure that it gets all over her hair and down to her scalp. Now I'm just working it through, making sure all her hair is covered in it. And now I'm going to add the cholesterol, and I'm working that through so it can be evenly distributed throughout her hair. Now I'll put a plastic cap on, and now it's time for her to go into the dryer. She's going to sit under the dryer for 30 minutes. Okay, now it's time for her final rinse. And as I'm rinsing, I'll be using a wide tooth comb to detangle. Her hair is super manageable and very soft. Now I'm just drying out her hair. Okay, this is the Palmer's Coconut Lotion. I usually put this on before I blow dry because it protects the hair and it adds a lot of moisture. And then I'm going to section her hair off so that I can start the blow drying process. And I always blow dry on medium heat to avoid heat damage. Okay, so now that I'm finished with that section, I'm going to spreading it so it'll be out the way so I can move on to the next section. Okay, I'm on the last section. All done. Okay, now it's time to prepare for her hair to be braided, but first I need to clip her ends. Okay, that is my coconut oil and olive oil blend. And I'll be placing that in her scalp and on her hair as I braid. That is the first freestyle braid. And that is the second freestyle braid. And this is the finished style. Thanks for watching, guys. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss nothing. Bye. Ah.